This video will be about the verse. This is pattern piece. You will need um, to cut out nine and a half inches by ten and a quarter inches. You need uh, two of these of fabric and two of lining. Then you will need <clears throat> other pattern piece, nine and a half inches long by four inches wide. And you'll be cutting out two out of lining. Then you'll need some matting. You can find this at the framing store. It's going to be eight and a half inches by eight and a half inches. You can have them cut it out or you can uh, do it yourself. Okay. So what I do is I take when I center my pattern <clears throat> And I figure out where I'm going to put my cross. The part that has, um, when you figure out the cross, you do the cross four and three quarter inches from the bottom, and you center your cross right there, and then you pin this top part because you need to um, know where you're going to be sewing the lining. I'll show you. This is what I this is what I do. So yeah, I'll do that. I do it from the edge where it's stitched, and I go four and three quarter inches, and I put a mark here, and that's where I sent my cross. Whether it's three inch cross, four inch, six inch, so it's always the same. And this distance here is longer because this is the top part where you're going to be you're going to be turning this top part and closing up the burst later. Okay. So the, the distance from here to here is always longer. I think that'll be helpful. So you're going to find the piece where it tells you to sew it up by machine on your pattern. And you're going to take the lining and the fabric and you're going to sew them together. And when after you've sewn, you only sew it one half inch in. Half inch in. These corners are going to be clipped later. So if you clip the corner, you're going to be cutting the stitch. And those corners are going to come apart. Okay? All right, go to the next sheet. So now I've attached it. <clears throat> this one here already has the other stuff on it, but I did the same thing to this. I attached the lining to the fabric, okay? I mean, essentially did the same thing. Then when I was done, I pressed it flat. Then I turn it over and I press the, <clears throat> the lining towards the fabric because when you go to finish it up later, it folds nicely. Okay? So you can do that to both of them. You can do it to the front piece and to this back piece. You're going to press it that way, okay? Don't forget that half inch on each side. You'll, you'll, because if you make a mistake and you've gone to the edge of that piece, when you go to clip it and take the bulk out of the corner, it's going to come up, come apart when you turn it. All right? So now, now here we have. We have the, the burst. I've sewed this top piece on. Okay? Now these little pieces here on the side... You're going to take these here, and you're going to have the right side, okay? And you're going to turn it, turn it, stitch. You can press them after you stitch. You're going to do both the top and the bottom. See, here it's done here. I already stitched, turned and stitched them. I'm trying to make this video shorter, so I've done a lot of the work ahead of time already. I do have another video, and you can watch that one. This one, I'm trying to pay more attention to the pocket on the inside when I turn it. Some people were having a little problem with that. So after I put these edges on, these little pieces here on the side, I turned it over and I pressed this this way. So I took it like this and pressed it flat this way. And the only reason why I do that is it's going to give it a good crease 
when I go to turn this later, okay? But when you're going to put this trim on, you're going to make sure that, that the fabric is toward that little piece that sticks out, okay? So you have the cross centered that's already sewn on. I did not put a backing on here because this fabric is pretty heavy. So now, how am I going to know where to end here? Hmm. So, I took the trim and I started at the bottom of the fabric. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. You can see it. Started at the bottom, went all the way around and pinned it. And I turned all the corners to be in. So I tucked it under. So all the corners are facing this way with the bulk of it on the inside. I like them all the same. To find out where the fabric that uh, trim should go, take my matting and I put it on top. There you go. And you'll find that the uh, the bottom here is not. You don't have something to go by when you put that trim on. So I just use the matting underneath and fix the trim underneath so it's even. Sometimes when you lay this a matting on top of what you've done, you find that it's too wide. So just lay it on top and if it's too wide, it's usually like one eighth of an inch off because of how you, I, I think usually because of how I sew it, right? This is the corner. Hmm, okay, you have to take, oh, here it is, <laughs> I thought I had them together. Okay, the piece that comes down, you have to figure out where it's going to fit into that groove. So what I do is I come down and I turn it and I stitch it, I just, just by hand, a couple of stitches. And the one that comes across, it has to be turned and tucked under and it just takes um, doing it over and over again sometimes to get that. And I just put the mat underneath and just work that corner until it's square. So it ends up being like that. And this piece coming down, once I get it to where it fits in there pretty nicely, you just turned it, tucked it under. And this one just... This piece turns like that, and this piece goes right in there. It does take some maneuvering, and just take your time. If you get too frustrated, put it away, come back to it. Sometimes I get frustrated too. So, okay, so now I have the corners all square, and I put the mat underneath, and then I stitch the outside edge first, all around the outside edge. Then I do the inside edge. Then I tack down the corners. And um, I'm going to do my next step, which will be tucking these in like this, pulling this down, and I'm going to stitch this here, this edge here. So I'm going to do that, and hopefully we can combine these videos and that's going to be the end of this video, unless I can find someone who can attach the next one to this one. So you'll have to look for another video. This isn't the end of the verse, okay? Thank you.